Hi guys, I got something for you, a uh, new mapping, fully uh, new because we have now colored hot cues, so every different hot cue has another color, um, of course uh, it's software matching. So I give you a short tour through my mapping. First of all, um, we have um, ma the, the buttons for um, assigning the effects. So if we uh, s say we want uh, effect unit 1 to deck A, we can trigger this. So uh, here we have it. So I can can toggle them trigger them um, and for the deck A we have the four buttons here um, four buttons because I use four effect units um, but I also use four decks so um, I had to um, make uh, another page so if you go to uh, uh, go to the tempo page, you access the um, with the same buttons the assignment for the deck C. Um, I don't know exactly if it if you can see it on the video, but um, you get a response, uh, a color response if the if the effect is on or off. Uh, is 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 toggled to the to the. Um, deck. Um, the, the same thing for deck C and D. Um, you also can, can switch between the pages to assign uh, the different effects to the different decks. Then we have the, the browser section. With the play button you can toggle the, the browser layout. Um, very easy. Um, the record and the erase button um, um, do one up or one down, the, the record button goes one up, the erase button one down. Um, the, with the left and right button you can, you can uh, load the, the selected track. So if we want to load uh, pleasure delay, we go here. So, but we have only one button for uh, two decks. So, um, with the left, uh, with the left button, we load in the left decks, and we with the right button in the in the right decks. Um, it it depends on the on the setting here. If it's on on the on the first page, it uh, loads in the deck A. If it's on the second page, it loads on deck C. And again, uh, on the other side, it's the same. With the restart and the grid button, you can um, easy uh, unload the the whole thing. So uh, um, here is the the same setting. So if you are in in the first page, you uh, unload the deck A, and if you are in the second page, you unload deck C. And again, for the for the other side, it's the same. Maybe we load a, a track, whatever. Um, Okay, we have here the the new fully colored uh, hot cues. So I can see um, every uh, different type of hot cue. Say, let's say the the second one is a uh, is a load marker, and seven maybe is a fade in. Uh, just do it random, nothing special here. And five is a is a fade out. Uh, what do we have? N a loop, of course. We have a loop. Um, so you can see, um, purple is always the the grid marker. I have uh, uh, my it, my settings so that the first marker is grid marker. So. Um, but it's it's fully colorful. If if you would change it, it's uh, it's the same as the other ones. Here, um, the load marker, 
loop queue. Um, it's slightly, slightly different color. This is the the fade out, and this is the fade in. Mm, it's it's the layout is uh, one two three four five six seven eight, and uh, uh, the same for for deck uh, D uh, in in this case because we are in the tempo page. Um, so the the tempo and the volume page are. Um, uh, also for the cue points, if uh, if I would change it to the volume page, I have here the the access to the cue points for the um, for the deck A and for deck B, and here for deck and here for deck C and D. So um, another page we have the the third or the middle one um, swing. Here we have our transport controls. Um, we have play for every deck. Again, A, B, C, D. Um, then we have uh, sync on and sync off. Um, nothing special here. Um, here, um, the Q marker, not not the hot Q. So you can see it's it's setting a Q. So you can tap in and and play then. Um, and of course, we can toggle now the the flux mode. Um, it's in the in the corner here for every deck. The delete button for the hot cues. Um, so if we want to delete the hot queue eight, we press it. As a, we we hold it and then we um, select the. The, Q, the Q point we want to, to delete, so I want to delete the 8. And um, it's very easy to, to do it, uh, to, to map a Q point. Just press a unmapped um, Q point and you have it. Um, and uh, the, the effect section here above it's the same as in the default settings in the in default mappings, but I think that's a, it's a good layout. So we have here um, the switch between the the one the FX unit one and two and FX unit three and four. Dry wet uh, your three parameters um, for each effect unit, on off and um, your three buttons. That was my quick um, walkthrough. I hope you enjoy the mapping. Um, I use it um, with my S4, <coughs> and uh, it's a it's a great uh, addition to to the little small cue point here. And of course, I can change the machine to the software, and and I, then I get uh, the machine software within Tractor and so on. So thanks for watching, and bye.